Wish Papa says this is King J where I say girl King J and I'm back with another video. I told y'all that I was gonna do another video. A story time actually, but I decided to make this story time a mukbang. So today I have Pizza Hut. And let me show y'all what I got. My sister messed up my order, but it's cool because I like this pizza. <laughs> You know, we got a chicken and pineapple pizza. And to drink, we got some strawberry kiwi um, Capri Sun. You don't know what it's on <laughs> and then um, we got a chocolate chip, a chocolate chip cookie. Kelly wants to show y'all her food after she messed up my order. So she has pizza, sausage, and Sausage pineapple. and pineapple. She has french fries and she has a piece of my cookie because they made me stop the camera for them to get a piece of cookie. But let's proceed. All right, so let me take my pizza first. <sighs> oh my god, let me take this because I'm I'm done for a loop. Okay, so ready? Let's taste it. Mm, okay. Well, let me keep it right here on the box. I'm going to tell y'all what happened. So, as y'all know, I came to Atlanta okay. for my sister's um graduation. And I took Greyhound bus to come because I was coming literally three hours. Now, let me take a sip because I'm a little thirsty. So, um, what was I gonna say? It was literally a three hour, well, with the bus stops, it was about four hours and change. So, I was supposed to leave from 10 20 a.m., and we, I didn't leave until almost 11 o'clock. And that just starts the beginning process. I hate being late. So, we we're supposed to leave the bus station at 10 20, where I was leaving from, to get here at 2 45, I believe. And instead of getting here at 2.45, okay, let me just get into the story. Because I have, like, little clips to drop. So, I was leaving at, as y'all seen in the video, I spoke about what time I left. And how I left a little bit before, like, probably five minutes before 11. If that's, like, maybe 10 minutes at most. So, during the transition from point A to point B. Um, the bus ride was smooth. As I told y'all, there was an ex-convicts. Normally, I sit in the back back, like the back row of the back, so nobody, you know. But they all took back there before I can even get on the bus. But that's besides the point. So, we were driving, and we stopped in Macon, Georgia. And it was fine. You know, as y'all seen, I got finessed. With the two two dollars and fifty cent Sprite, that wasn't even regular size, and the dollar twenty five chips that made me feel like I was in high school. So after that, we went on our way to come back to come to Atlanta. Now, the transition. There was one road. I'm not. I don't know the name of the road or what road it was, but it was blocked off. And yeah. Which probably, uh, I'm checking back in. I'm stuck in big traffic. Okay. Big, big traffic. I was supposed to reach Atlanta at 245. It's 317. And I checked my GPS. And so I still got an hour and 30 minutes. It's wickedness. My stomach's touched my back. But this traffic here is wicked. I'm hungry. I'm hungry. I really want a fofa for And I really want a frozen coffee from um, what's that place called? Dunkin' Donuts. But I don't know. I'm hungry. Well, I ate a bagel this morning. And a bag of chips. And a sprite. And I'm hungry. And this traffic is blowing me. And the bus driver is a DK. Well, let me not say that. The bus driver. It's the bus driver. And, um, she keeps coming on the speaker, yelling into it. Like, 
baby, we not that far. But if she do that to me again, I'm gonna be there. Yeah. Kinda depressed and hungry. So I'll see y'all hopefully in an hour. Cause the last time I seen y'all wasn't making it, and that was two hours ago. So um yeah. So the road was blocked off. And with the road being blocked off, the that caused us to have to take a detour. So the bus driver was just like, you know, we're going to stop here. We stopped at, it was a marathon and a subway bus. Well, it's not even a bus station. It was like a gas station. And, like, it was marathon gas station. And right next to the marathon gas station, it was a, um, a subway. So she was like, you know, I have to make a phone call. The phone call is going to be 10 to 15 minutes. So if y'all want to go get off the bus, we'll get something to eat and come back. That'll be fine. So we can proceed with where we're going. So I was like, fine, cool. You know, I don't want to get left in this area. So I'm just going to go. I think I grabbed, like, a drink. Um, I want to say gummy bears, a Slim Jim or something like that. So we stopped again in the middle of nowhere. I'm hungry. There's no bike gas station. I got a Slim Jim, a bag of chips, and something to drink. I'm hungry. And we stuck. Okay? Stuck. So then when I grabbed all of those, I went back on the bus and I sat down. Now, everybody's back on the bus at this point. Because everybody's like, okay, it's been 10 minutes. Everybody used the bathroom. Everybody freshened up. Let's get it. So, why the bus driver come on the bus? And just letting y'all say, oh, um, I ran out of my drive time. So, I can't take y'all any further. Excuse me, sis? Drive time? What you think this is? A restaurant? So, it threw me for a loop because... You're only taking me three hours and change. Call it four hours. So how do you run out of drive time? And all we do is take like a, I'm going to say a 20, 30 minute detour. Because we had to come off the highway. And it go park. First of all, where it parked up at? I see nothing but trees and trucks. I'm surprised my phone was able to call my auntie and my mom to let them know like, look, I'm in point A and I'm stuck in point B, but I can't get to point C because bus driver said that she can't take us any further so she was just like we have to wait for another bus driver which is going to be an hour out from it she had, that bus driver had to come from atlanta to us to take us into atlanta so i was just like what that makes no sense you can literally drive us in it like we were probably i want to say an hour and 15 45 minutes to an hour and 15 minutes from the actual bus station in atlanta so we was sitting there, and I want to say when we pulled up there around the time around the time that we were supposed to get to Atlanta is when we pulled into the gas station. So that was like two forty five, two thirty. Now three o'clock roll around, and I'm hungry, so I'm gonna post the, the snippets of the videos that I were posting on Instagram. I'm depressed. I'm thirsty. I just and the bus is not moving. What did I tell you? I am pissed. I know I'm hungry. I'm hungry, you know. I'm hungry at this point because, mind you, I left from my auntie at nine something. I ate a bagel. And after that, I've been on the road ever since then. So it's two o'clock now. My stomach fighting my back. I'm pissed because I'm on this hot bus. There's nothing for me to do. I can't move. And I'm, I'm afraid that if I leave my bags on the bus, I'm going to get robbed. I'm afraid that if if I make the wrong move, one of these one of these people going to do something. I was just, I was afraid. So I'm just like, you know what? Let me call my auntie because I'm pissed. I'm heated. I'm hot. And everybody knows I do not like being hot. I'm pissed, heated, and hot. Those are the three things that I hate to be all at the same time. So I call my auntie. And my auntie's like, um, my auntie's like, just go get some Subway and eat and calm down. So then, I got my Subway. I was really going to make that my bond day. But the way I was hungry, boy, I've never seen myself eat a foot long so fast in my life. So, by the time I eat, it's 3 o'clock. No, it's not 3 o'clock. It's like an hour later. So it's like 
three going on four. It's like three forty five, almost four o'clock. So I um at this point I'm expecting the bus, the new bus driver to come. It's been an hour. We told us she's an hour out. She should be on her way. So now we start asking the bus driver questions because baby, it's it's getting time. Everybody on this bus is hot. They we're trying to ask questions and we're just like, you know, simple questions like you're, one thing you know you're definitely not supposed to do is leave people in the dark. You have a bus full of almost 100 people, and you're leaving us in the dark. And we don't know anything. So, it was just like a, can we, can you at least tell us how far the lady is? Or can you give us some information on what the bus station is going on with? Like, what's, what, did they find somebody to cover you to take us the rest of the way? So, she starts getting loud. I can't help y'all and did it. Skirt. Rewind. Sis, I don't know who you're talking to. I do not know who you're talking to. I just simply asked you a question. I didn't get loud. I was nice, cool, calm, and collective because I could have really said some things I didn't want to say. She was just like, I can't answer none of questions and y'all coming at me. I just simply asked you a question. You can call the bus station and get a direct line. I tried calling the bus station multiple times and they was just like, um, they put me through on hold. I was, matter of fact, I called the bus station the first time. I was just trying to figure out some information. Because I don't like being left out. I don't like being in the dark. I hate that. That's one of my pet peeves. I called the bus station. They had me on hold for an hour. Mind you, I'm still sitting in this parking lot. So they had me on, on hold for an hour and disconnected the call completely. That pissed me off. So then, we're asking her question. Now, we asked her question. She got angry. Now, it starts pouring. Pouring, raining. And we're in the bus. And I guess there's something wrong with the bus windows. So the rain is coming through the windows. And the windows are supposed to be locked. So now I'm my clothes is a little damp. And I'm pissed. And on top of that, the outlets in the bus were not working. So that just made me even more mad. It made me more mad. It made me even more mad. So then, I want to say 7.30 roll around. Now, that's been, I was supposed to be at my destination from 2.45. It's been almost five hours. And we asked the lady, you know, what do we do? Who do we call? Because I want to say one of the people's girlfriends were waiting for him at the bus stop. And she called him and she was just like, you know, I just spoke to the people in Atlanta. And they said they have no information on the people coming to relieve her. So at this point, I go from piss to piss her and then piss this, this. Because ain't no way. How you going to tell me that somebody is an hour out from 345? Now it's 730. I'm sitting here. It done rained on, on my parade, literally. And it was hot. I couldn't do anything. It was hot. At least my belly was filled because that subway really did hit a spot. But you not telling us anything. So... I want to say the bus driver got there around almost 8. Like, uh, probably exactly 8. 8, 8, 10. And she takes off, start driving. I'm just like, ooh, we in there. I'm doing a little dance in my seat. And she she pulls off. 30 minutes going smooth. She pull over the bus. So, you know that sigh of positivity? I'm just like, oh, what did Jesus? No, man. That's what I start with. But it's not allowed to anybody can hear me. So, we just like, yo, what's going on? Like, we were just moving good. If the bus is out of gas, that's really going to piss me off. Because we were sitting in a, 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 a gas station the whole time. So, y'all really could have put some gas in this. She was like, the station was calling me. It don't take thirty minutes, another 30 minutes for you to be on the phone with the station. Come on now. I'm ready, I'm ready to be in my destination. So, she drives us the rest of the way. We get off the bus. And that was the end of it. Now, I'm telling you, I used to get on Greyhound all the time to come to Atlanta or go to where my auntie lived. Like, Greyhound used to be a regular thing for me. Like, if I'm traveling within the state of Georgia, I'm taking Greyhound. I'm on I'm on Greyhound. But after I go back to my auntie on Thursday, I am never riding Greyhound again because that was, like, my worst experience with any kind of transportation, like, oh, talking to, well, no, I'm not going to tell you that story, but 
It's, it was, like, really crazy. And then the bus driver really threw off my vibe. Like, you're not going to talk to me like I'm one of your kids, one of your grandkids. None of that. Like, I just simply asked a question. I came to you like... I came to you like an adult. Like, I was just like, you know, excuse me, ma'am. I don't know your name, but I just wanted to know that you want to. Baby, you got the wrong one. But thank y'all for watching. Make sure y'all like, comment, share, subscribe. So that post notification bell. Thank y'all so much for, you know, continuing to run it on my channel, watching my videos, dropping views, dropping comments, dropping like. I really appreciate y'all. Shout out to JSK Nation. Their link is always in the description down below. I'm going to try and get together with Haley and Kelly to see what kind of video we can drop before I leave. Um, y'all going to see a video with me and Kelly. Um, if y'all like, comment, share, subscribe. Turn that post notification bell on. And do as the outro says. Ooh.